All right, we're gonna go and get started. Just make sure everyone's muted. All righty, good morning, everybody. Good morning, it is the 3rd of July, but we're pretending it's the 4th of July, because for those of you who have today off as a federal holiday, um, you are honoring the day today as a little break from work. And uh, so we're gonna have a little, little holiday fun today with a little dose of some mind candy as you think about um, what independence and freedom mean in your yoga practice. And just have some fun. Try not to hold any expectations. Certainly be not judgmental of yourself, of thyself. I feel like I need to speak as Founding Fathers spoke. Um, and just really have a great time today. Come on to your backs. We're going to start on our backs in a Shavasana position. But don't feel like you need to be still. Just crawl around a little bit. Move around. Stretch the arms and the legs. Take up some space. Notice how the body feels today. Once you feel like you've adequately stretched every part of the body, then begin to settle down. Just laying absorbed into the earth. Relaxing all your muscles once again, much like you were a few hours ago when you were sleeping. Headband cannot be maintained during the practice. <laughs> so what does it mean to be free? I'm going to read a reading for you. Yoga can hold the key to rediscovering our personal freedoms. In time, this practice helps to hone the liberties of our everyday lives. We loosen our grip as we realize that we can't control everything. And a little hint, there's very little that we can control. Throughout this journey, the ways we react to challenges and handle situations begins to change as old parts of ourselves that no longer serve us begin to fall away. Yoga is a celebration of the freedom we experience in our minds, in our bodies, in our hearts, and in our souls. Our perceptions expand as we acknowledge that we are all connected to something greater, the great cosmic whole. So this practice has so much to teach us about ourselves and so many ways it guides us into finding freedom because it brings us face to face with challenges and then it invites us to release our grip it brings us face to face with discomfort and then teaches us that we can move on. We don't have to stay trapped in our minds, but we often choose to do so. So let this practice be a reminder of the power of liberation, liberation from the mind, from being trapped in the mind and just get into your body. Your body has such innate wisdom. It is smarter than the mind. Your body knows the truth, the truth about your love, the truth about who you really are. Let that be the space where you dwell. I'm gonna read you a little, little blessing at the beginning and a little blessing at the end. May today there be peace within. May you trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith in yourself and others. And may you use the gifts that you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing and dance praise and love. It is there for each and every one of us. Start to notice the breath.
Feel the subtle movements in the body as it welcomes the breath in and out. And start to have a little fun with the breath. Breathing deeper into the body. Imagine you're a blimp and you're filling it with so much helium that you're just going to lift yourself, levitate from the earth. And as you exhale, imagine releasing that air and just sinking right back down to where you came from. Inhale, fill up. Take it all the way to your capacity, filling into the belly, the ribs, the, the ribs on both sides are expanding, chest rises. And then slowly let the breath go, taking it all the way down to the very bottom of that exhalation. There's nothing left. And then start to wiggle the fingers and the toes as you breathe. And start to notice how you can control the muscles in the legs and the glutes and the pelvic floor and the abs, the arms. And we're going to do a little progressive muscle relaxation, both at the beginning and the end of practice. Just as a reminder that you can find freedom from tension that lives in your body. So we'll do three rounds at the beginning of practice, three rounds at the end. This is a really nice little mindfulness nugget that you too can enjoy at any time during your day when you notice your body is starting to get cramped or tense, just holding the weight of something heavy in your mind. This is a great way to release. So on your next inhale, take the breath all the way to the top and start to squeeze every single muscle, contracting, causing tension from toe up to the head. Squeeze and hold at the top of that breath for five, four, three, two. Squeeze a little tighter. One and ah. Audibly sigh. Let the breath go. Relax the muscles. Melt the body back down to the earth. Notice if just from that moment you have a greater sense of lightness. We're going to do it twice more. So on your inhale, take the breath in and squeeze every single thing all the way up to your eyelids. Squish them together. Clench your jaw. Everything is tight for five, four, three, two, and ah. Let it go. Let, let this tension know that you're not willing to harbor it any longer. Feel the softness in the shoulders and the hips and the legs and we'll do that once more so when you're ready try to really invite in some muscles that maybe you left out the first and second time big breath in and squeeze clench tighten grip for five tighter four hang in there three two ah you've just invited yourself into freedom Bring your hands to your heart, setting your intention for practice. I will be free from my thoughts. I will listen to the wisdom of my body. I will be free from my thoughts. I will listen to the wisdom of my body. Maybe that feels right to you and you want to keep it, or maybe something else has landed as an intention for your practice. Hold it close to your heart. Take a big breath in. Let your breath go. Beautiful. On the next breath, bring your right knee toward your chest. And with one hand on the knee, the other hand on the ankle, start to make some circles into your right hip. You may want to keep that ankle, that foot flexed, so you're not putting any stress into the ankle.
And then start to draw the left knee up towards you so you cross the right ankle over the left thigh, taking a figure four shape. You can stretch and strengthen or stretch and, and lengthen your left leg up to the sky, maybe circle into that left ankle, welcoming sensation in the leg. Big breath in, full breath out. Start to extend your left or your right leg also, crossing the right ankle over the left ankle. And then let those heels drift over to the bottom, uh, let's see, left corner of the mat. Reach the arms up overhead and crescent over to the left with those arms. So keep trying to rotate the all the toes over to the left, the wrists up to the left, feeling a big stretch through the body. Breathe in, stretch. Maybe you will consciously let something go today. Maybe you will guide yourself through forgiveness. Or maybe it happens without even noticing. It just is an opportunity for freedom. All right, come back into center. Use your strong core. Lift those legs back up to the sky. Cross them. Let the right heel come down to the earth. Bring the left knee in. Take your left ankle in your hand or the heel, just pulling it around towards you. Make circles into your left hip. And then bring your right knee towards you with the ankle cross, taking your figure four shape. One way to bring it a little deeper is to bind behind that right thigh, drawing the knee towards you. You can also extend the leg up to the sky and make circles into your right ankle. You wanna take yourself to an edge where you really notice. Nice, and then extend the left leg up, keeping the left leg crossed over the right. Slowly let those heels drift down to the right. Use your core, you got this. Arms reach up and over to the right. Ooh, sorry about that, that was probably really loud. Extending through the left side body. Reaching up, opening up the ribs and the hip. One more big breath. And then bring the spine back to neutral. Lift those legs back up to the sky. Whoop. Uncross them and start to rock and roll along the length of the spine, eventually coming up into a boat pose. Because, you know, we all have these dreams of being on a boat on the 4th of July. <laughs> Right? Cocktails in hand, sun shining on us, watching the fireworks. We're just going to dream this year. Come into your boat. Feel the, the belly start to fire up a little bit. Try to lift out of the tailbone, finding more length in the spine. You can always dock your boat, bring the feet down. Two more breaths. Shoulders draw down and back. One more breath. And then come on down, bringing the feet together. I think in my haste to uh, start class with my, with my shenanigans, I may have forgotten to introduce myself. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> if for those of you new to practicing with me, my name is Erin. I love a holiday. I love a theme. And I want to thank the Energy Club for, uh, for sponsoring today's class. So welcome. Sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, start to round a little bit, bringing your head down toward the toes. Just feel a big opening in the back body. Maybe start to roll the shoulders a little bit. And then walk over beyond the right edge of the mat, keeping the hips rooted. Just stretch as far as the body will go. So you feel it in the ribs and in the hips. And then walk your hands well beyond the left edge of the mat. Breathe deeply right where you feel it in the body. And 
then come back into center. Keep your right leg bent. Extend your left leg in front of you. So you're coming into like a little seated tree pose. We're going to take a big breath in, extending over that, that left leg. Open up the heart. And as you exhale, round the spine, bowing down toward the thigh. Inhale, lift up, open the heart. And exhale, bow and round in the spine. So think cat-cow as you move. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe in. And this time as you exhale, try to extend, take a bind, melt the nose toward the knee, flex the foot, activating the calf muscle, and breathe. One more big breath. Beautiful. Rise all the way up. We're going to bend that left knee, bringing it to the left hip, coming into a little pinwheel shape, and then take a twist. So left hand onto the right knee. Remember, every twist begins with an extension of the spine. So the inhale, and then rotate to the right on the exhale. Look over that shoulder. And maybe you like to come back to center and twist and back and twist, or, 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 or just to get a little deeper in the twist. Or you can stay right there if you feel like you've already found your edge. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Come back into center. Keep your right hand planted next to your right hip. And we're going to sweep the hips up from the earth, chest to the sky. Reach, open up. Feel that really big stretch into your left side psoas. Two more breaths. And then come on down, nice. Bring the feet back together, just a little butterfly wing stretch here. <laughs> flap, flap, flap. And then extend your right leg. Come do it on the other side. Rotate the body, take a big breath in, open up the heart, bring the shoulder blades together and exhale, spread them as you hinge at the hips, bow down. Inhale, widen through the heart, open and lift. And exhale as you fold. You got that two more just like that. Big breath in. Full breath out. Feel the spine articulate. Last one. And reach, taking it right to your edge with any bind. Allow yourself to melt into this fold. Notice the shoulders. They have a tendency to creep up to the ears. I'm always going to remind you to create some space and let them slide down. One more breath. Use the next breath to rise. Release that bind. Bend the right knee, bringing the heel to your hip. Find where the spine, where the tailbone roots. Lift up. Take a big breath in and twist over to your left. Lifting that chin away from the shoulder. Let the gaze keep floating more and more to the left. One more big breath in. Come on back into center. Left hand next to the left hip. We're going to press the hips up away from the earth. Coming onto the shins and rise. Big stretch here. Where can you open up just a little bit more? And then come on down. Nice. Roll over to a table position, taking a few breaths of free movement. You are always free to move any way you want and need to. Never, ever feel confined by my cueing. Know that if you need a little rest, a little resetting of the breath or reconnection to your intention, maybe you come back into a child's pose where the hips find the heels and the arms are outstretched, third eye rooted. 
It's a really nice place for grounding when the mind begins to spin a little out of control. If you find childs and come back to the breath, it brings you back to the now. Clearing your mind of the clutter a little bit. All right, from here, we're all going to find our way to downward facing dog. We're going to do it step by step, just breaking it up so you really notice what the body is doing. So first step is spread the fingers. Second step is rotate the eyes of the elbows so that they notice that you can do that whoop, whoop, with the by moving the shoulders. So rotate the eyes of the elbows so they face forward. Flex the feet, driving the toes into the earth. Bring the knees to hover just a little bit. Start to feel that core reignite. Then press your chest all the way back towards your thighs like you're about to sprint, take off. And then slowly begin to bend, I'm sorry, straighten the legs and float your gaze up to your belly button. Sink in a little bit with the chest so you feel the opening in the shoulders. And see if the heels can find a little bit more proximity to the earth. Just melt them a little bit. You can always flip into a plank pose, which is a good way to measure out a little bit, and then lift back into downward facing dog. And maybe you just opened up a little bit more space, a little bit more freedom. Big breath in, full breath out. Beautiful. We're all going to come forward into a plank pose, release the knees and untuck the toes and bend the elbows. So with the eyes pointing forward, as you bend them, you're naturally calling upon the triceps to lower you down. When the elbows are flared out like this, you're calling more upon the chest. So lower down. Nice. Then press those palms into the earth exactly where they are. Peel up, finding a little baby cobra. Then melt back down. Then in your cobra, keep your gaze down, down the bridge of the nose rather than out and forward. So the neck is protected. So inhale, lift up little baby cobra. Hips are rooted. Exhale, melt down. Do that twice more. Inhale. And exhale. Taking your time. There's never a need to rush. Beautiful. From here, we're going to find a way back to table position. From table position, once again, slowly making your way to your downward facing dog. So everything is noticed along the way. Flex the feet, rotate the shoulders so the elbows are pointing back, eyes pointing forward, knees lift, chest to thighs, and tailbone to the sky as the legs straighten. So pedal out a little bit in the heels. Nice. And then we're going to start our sun salutation. A great way to start the day to get the heart pumping a little bit, to get a real connection between the breath and the movement. And it can't help but free you from any encumbering thoughts because you just need to be present in order to, to be moving in this way. So on the next breath, slowly look forward, start to walk your feet to your hands. Use the next inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale back into a fold, letting everything go. Inhale, hands to shins halfway. And exhale, plant the hands, walk the feet back. Just take as many steps as you want back to high plank. High plank, check in with the body, then lower down, chaturanga. Low push-up. Inhale, press into the earth, rise through the heart. Maybe the arms begin to straighten for a full cobra. Back to downward facing dog. Using your strong core to lift those hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look to the front, walk, but use the other foot this time. Maybe it's your non-dominant foot. Fold. Rise. Fold once again. Halfway lift. 
Plant the hands. Again, take a slow walk. So you really activate the muscles back to high plank. Lower down. Rise back up. Feel yourself shining. Back to downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. This time, see if you can take some giant steps to the front of the mat. Opening those hips. Rise up. Melt back down. Halfway lift. And take giant steps back. Lower down. Rise back up. Maybe the hips and the thighs stay lifted for your upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. Moving safely in a way that feels right to you right now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take giant steps using the other foot. Really think about what you've done. Fold. Press in, rise up. And bow down. Halfway lift. As you step back, again, use the different foot. High plank to low plank or no plank if you don't want to do your planks. No requirements, no expectations. Back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look to the front, bend the knees. This time, see if you can take a little hop, hop. Feet to hands. Rise up, open up. Maybe find a back bend here. Swan dive down, back into your fold. Halfway lift, hands to shins. Plant your hands, maybe you're hopping back. If you are doing that, land with softness in the elbows. Back to downward facing dog. All right, now comes the fun part. You are free to move any way you want for two more sun salutations as I come and watch this beautiful flow of yours. Breathing, beautiful jump, Kelly. Gorgeous. Oh, nice posture, Marby. Nice flat back. Anita and Radhika, you are perfectly choreographed and synced. Look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful, Eileen, taking time to work those hips and those lunges. Nice. Stretching, Leslie, I love it. Opening your heart. So beautiful. We'll meet back in Downward Facing Dog. Take your time arriving there. There is no rush. If you want to keep flowing, keep flowing. Remember, this is your practice. You get to reap the rewards of whatever you're investing here. Beautiful. In your downward facing dog, keep inviting the tailbone high to the sky, heels low to the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. On the inhale, send the right leg high, first to three-legged dog, keeping the hips squared. And then bend the knee and start to open up the hip. Maybe make circles into the hip. If you want to flip your dog, you can flip it and flip your dog. Once you flip, make sure you rotate on the ball of that left foot so the heels are in line, feet are widely spaced, and lift. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you are flipped, look where you're going. Rotate back into your three-legged dog. Then step the right foot between the hands, finding a nice low lunge. When you're ready, rise up. Big breath in, full breath out, sink a little deeper. So those who have practiced with me for a while now know that I love a shenanigan. You know, this is 4th of July, so we need to do some, some patriotic type shapes. Of course, eagle comes to mind. So we're gonna find our eagle pose here. So with our legs, just as they are for starters, we're gonna take the left arm and weave it underneath the right arm, establishing our arm bind first, crossing at the elbows, and let the palms find one another. 
just concentrate on the arm bind here. Create some space between the elbows and the face. Putting up in the upper back just a little bit, finding some roundness. And then shift into the right foot and bring that left knee to wrap around the right. Now maybe you straightened the legs when you made that connection. Try to bend the knees a little bit, sinking the hips, lowering the tailbone toward the back of the mat, toward the heels rather than jutting forward. Shoulders over hips. Two more breaths. Squeeze everything into the center, eagles. One more breath. Beautiful. From here, we're going to unwind the arms. We're going to unwind the leg and step that left leg all the way back, coming into warrior two footing. So your left foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. And maybe the heels are in line, so you feel that opening into the hips. And don't be afraid to touch yourself and spin those hips open. Yes. And maybe you start to wiggle a little bit, creating a little movement in the rib cage. And then relax the shoulders. As you inhale, flip the right palm, reverse your warrior. And the exalted warrior, bend the right knee a little deeper. Maybe it's burning a little bit. Breathe into it. You'll be all right. One more breath. And then extended side angle. So bringing your right arm down to the right thigh or the hand down to a block inside or outside of the right foot. And we're looking for that energy line from the left heel through the leg and hip and ribs, all the way up through the left fingertips. Breathe. Keep spinning that right hip open. If it's collapsing, be mindful of it, be aware. One more breath. And then we're gonna come back up to warrior two, straighten the front leg for triangle pose. Nice and tall through the spine, reach and gaze forward as the left hips press back, and then start to bow down. We're not collapsing, we're just mindfully stretching, keeping the tailbone, pressing away from the crown. One more big breath. We're gonna come right back up and we're gonna take your right, come onto your right heel and wiggle the right toes. That's what we're gonna be moving. We're gonna bring this right foot to attach to the left leg coming into a tree pose. So maybe you can do it in, whoa, maybe not. <laughs> One big swoop, maybe not. So right foot on the left leg and squeeze one into the other. And if you want, I like to pretend I'm Lady Liberty here whenever I do the 4th of July class. <laughs> Hold your tablet, hold your torch, and show that you are a beacon of light for freedom, for liberty, for equality. So put the foot against the leg, leg back into foot, grow a little taller. A little hint, if you squeeze the right butt cheek, and just, just the right butt cheek, you'll feel that um, the right hip open externally just a little bit more. Maybe you have patriotic songs going through your head right now. Two more breaths. You guys look awesome. One more breath. And then Lady Liberty, put down your torch. We're gonna lift that right knee and come right back into warrior two. <laughs> Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to frame the right foot. Find your low lunge stance. And we're gonna take a side plank. So one option, if you're not really feeling full Vashisasana today is drop the left knee, untuck the toe, and you can come into a side plank variation. Or if you wanna power it up and you wanna take the toe bind that I love so much, start to rotate on the edge of the left foot, stacking left shoulder over left, um, left shoulder over left wrist is what I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna take another tree pose here. If you want, you can too, bringing the foot to the leg, 
still connecting one against the other. And when you press those two together, you'll notice that it makes this a little easier. Wherever you are in your Vashtasana, two more big, beautiful breaths. And just for fun, if you're in that tree leg, we're gonna come back into a high plank, maybe keep that tree leg. Just see how fun that is. High plank, lower down chaturanga, and then release the leg to support your back bend, whether you're taking a cobra or upward facing dog. Doesn't really matter, just do something fun, be playful, be creative. Maybe you find your own little, little patterns of, of movement. And downward facing dog, keep lifting the tailbone, keep pressing chest to thigh, keep breathing. One more big breath. All right, time for the left side, left heel to the sky, three-legged dog feeling balanced. Then bend the knee, open the hip, flippity flip if you want, or just make circles or stay static, whatever the body wants right now. Find something that feels good. If you are flipped, look where you're going. Flip back over. We're all going to meet back and down. Um, Three-legged dog. And then guide the left foot between the hands, first establishing your low lunge. Feeling safe, feeling supported. And rise up. Big breath in. Full breath as you sink. And then we'll take our eagle arms on this side. So right arm leaves under the left, crossing at the elbows, greeting at the palms, or hugging your elbows if that's better for you today. Really work it, work it, work it. Feel the really big shoulder stretch. And then start to shift into the left foot, wrapping the right over the left squeezing tightly through the thighs. I always think like, pretend there's no rest stop for a hundred more miles. Hold on, you got this. And then consciously draw the hips down, bending the knees, challenge yourself. Squeezing, breathing, feeling free, feeling powerful. Feeling very much yourself. One more breath. And then as you exhale, unwind the arms, unwind the leg, step the right foot back as the hips open into your warrior two. Getting situated and settled here, rotating the hips. Big breath in, relax the shoulders as you breathe out. Flip the left palm up and overhead like you're high-fiving someone behind you. If that left thigh starts to burn, like mine just did, you can straighten it and then come back into your lunge. One more breath. Come into extended side angle. Find that long energy line. Press into that right heel, electrify through the side of hip, the ribs, One more breath. All right, and then we're gonna come back up, straighten the left leg, triangle pose, reach, and then begin to float down without collapsing. The spine is still long. Taking this lateral flexion here. Maybe you change the gaze, maybe you do something different. Look up to the thumb. Or look down to the toe, just finding a new way to be in this shape, breaking out of automaticity constantly. One more breath. All right, start to use your core, drive yourself back up, and then lift onto your left heel and wiggle those toes so you know which one's moving. We're going to step that left foot on to the right leg, finding your tree pose. So take as many little steps as you need to. Connecting foot to leg, avoiding the knee. 
one into the other, really power up through your foundation. Grow tall, invite the arms to rise. Maybe you are once again Lady Liberty, offering freedom to yourself as you shed outdated beliefs, anything that's restrictive, judging, just let it go right here. This is your commitment to yourself. We'll get out of my mind and I will listen to the wisdom of my body. Your body is filled with love. One more breath. Release your torch. Lift that left knee up. Big step forward. Whoop. Back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And as you exhale, cartwheel to frame the left foot, knowing that we're heading toward a side plank so you can create any variation that you want. So maybe you take the bind, maybe you come on to your side, maybe you find another tree. Again, if you do tree, really squeeze into the legs. It helps you lift the hips so you're not dumping into your right shoulder and right wrist. You guys look so strong. Two more breaths. If you have that tree leg, see if you can come onto your high plank. We're all going to meet in high plank no matter what. And lower down chaturanga. Just a fun little challenge. Release the leg as you open up the heart. Back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, look to the front, bring the feet to the hands, but hop the feet around the pinky edges of the feet of the hands. All right, so shenanigan time, shenanigan warning, and a little cardio burst warning. So as you know, it's 4th of July tomorrow, and there may or may not be fireworks visible to you. Um, so we're going to create our own little firecracker here. But be, be safe, be mindful, be aware of your hips, of your joints and your knees, of what your body really wants to do right now, and just have some fun, all right? So staying nice and low, crouching down to a little ball, and then we're going to explode whoo, into a firecracker, and then we're going to come back down and reload, and then we're going to explode like a firecracker. Make some noise. We're going to do that eight more times. We have 10 total. So go. You can take it really slow. You can make it low impact if you want. Woo! I encourage you to make noise. Let that energetic release help you find freedom from anything that makes you stuck. Woo. 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 That gets your heart up. <sighs> when you're done, we're going to come on back to our butterfly shape. Drink some water. Ah. Maybe just take a moment. Feeling the blessings of the heart. Feel the rhythm. What a gift it is that we can actually feel our heartbeat. Know how the body responds to our actions. It's so cool. Take a minute to gather your breath. Hopefully you were breathing during your firecracker exercise. All right. From here, we're going to build a little fire. So once we're settled in at night, fireworks are done. Many people like to build a bonfire. So we're going to do a little fire log shape. So bring your left shin down below, your right shin. We're going to hold it once again and just move a little bit into the ball and socket. And then stack your right shin over the left shin, keeping those ankles flexed to protect your, or feet flexed to protect your ankle joints. And if you have a lot of space here, 
tuck a pillow or a block or a blanket or something. All right. The other option, of course, is to come into your butterfly pose. <clears throat> so with the shin stacked, feel both sit bones rooted. You can remove flesh to help make that connection. Take a big breath and sit up nice and tall. And you can stay here or you can start to lean a little bit closer to the fire. Maybe you're roasting marshmallows. You just need to get a little bit closer. Maybe you're double fist in the marshmallows. Just lean into the stretch. <clears throat> really take it to your edge. Notice the breath, breathe deeper. The breath tells the body that everything's okay, especially when you're actively breathing really fully. Two more breaths. And then start to walk away from the flames. Bring your hands back behind you, fingertips facing you. Root the palms into the earth. And once again, peel your hip bones from, so your sit bones from the earth. See how much you can lift them and open up through the heart. One more breath. And then release. Uncross the legs. Windshield wiper. You're not going to have to use your windshield wipers today here in this DMV area. It's going to be hot and no rain in sight. And then we'll take that to the other side. So this time tuck your, your right shin on the bottom. Hug and move a little bit into that left hip socket. Then stack left over right. Hi, Bumblebee. <sighs> Sit up nice and tall, feel the even, evenness into the sit bones. And maybe that's enough for you. Or maybe you wanna start leaning in a little bit. Maybe you wanna roast some more marshmallows. So funny, everyone has their own little like way they like their marshmallow. Yeah, the people who are really into the carcinogens and they just want it burnt, they want it to catch on fire, blow it out and eat it nice and black. And there are other people who want just a, like a little light toast on the outside. And then you have people who just want to eat them right out of the bag. It's really fun to, if you don't already know how your loved ones like their marshmallow, this is a good day to find out. Just let this... Let time and gravity settle you in a little deeper here, breathing deeply into the hips. A few more breaths. And then slowly start to come back up. Bring those hands behind you once again. This time rotate so that the heel of the hand is closer to your hip, fingertips away from you. Just a different wrist stretch. Press down as you peel up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, truly opening the heart. One more breath. And release. We're going to open up the legs nice and wide here. So if you want to come lengthwise or yeah, wide widthwise on your mat, you can so that everything is supported by the mat. Shake the legs out a little bit. We're going to extend the right arm inside of right leg and take a little lateral stretch here, reaching over toward the uh, right right toes. You can bring the hand behind the head if you want, pressing one into the other, feeling the slight rotation of the rib cage. Unless you're making a full bind, maybe you have a strap to help you. One more breath. And then come back into center, take a bind on both sets of big toes and fold forward. Chest to the earth. Gaze down.
great time to use a block or a pillow or something to hold onto your chest, to keep you a little snuggled in. One more breath. And then we're gonna take our side body stretch over to the left. Holding onto the left foot, reaching with the other hand. Gently spinning the, the right ribs up to the sky. One more breath. And come on back to center. We're gonna close those legs. Come on down with the feet wider than the mat. Let the knees tick tock again. Do anything you want to shake out in the legs and hips. And as promised, before we settle into our final resting shape, we're gonna do one more round of the progressive muscle relaxation. When I do this with private clients, it's a, it's a longer practice where we work on one muscle group at a time, so they're fully aware of what they can control. But in the interest of time, we're doing a whole body PMR. So just once again, start to kind of wiggle, jiggle, get familiar with all the muscles that you can control. Don't forget your pelvic floor and the glutes. Drawing the abs in, squeezing the jaw, squishing the eyes. All right, let's do three rounds just as we did at the beginning. So as you begin to inhale, start to invite the contraction throughout the whole body. Every single muscle gets engaged. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Take the breath to your top, to your peak. Hold it for five. Squeeze tighter. Four, three, two, one. <sighs> Let the breath and the muscles go back to a relaxed state. Let's do it again. Slowly start to inhale, fill up with air, fill up with tightness everywhere, toes up to the eyeballs. Hold it, squeeze tight for five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Let everything melt. And we'll do that one last time. And that final exhale will take you right into your shape of rest, right into your Shavasana. So when you're ready, start to breathe in fuller than you have, squeeze tighter than you have. Everything is working right here. Everything is contracted. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hold for five, tighter, four, rip it, three, Two, one, ah. Welcome yourself to the ultimate freedom. The freedom where you simply get to be.
May today there be peace within. May you trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith in yourself and others. May you use the gifts you have received, pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing and dance, praise and love. It is there for each and every one of us. You are free to breathe consciously. You are free to move, waking up the body from the rest. You are free to be comfortable in your own skin all day long. Allow yourself to be free. Start to roll over to one side, feeling the rebirth of this moment, feeling the potential for amazing things today. And slowly begin to rise, coming back to any seat that is comfortable for you, inviting the palms to press together in front of the heart. Thank you for joining us today for this celebration of independence and freedom. May you feel it in your bones. The love and the light in me honors the love and the light that glows like a firecracker brightly in each of you. Namaste, my friends. Namaste. And cheers for a very, very healthy, happy, festive holiday. Whatever you're doing to celebrate, please be safe so that you can join us in all your wellness again on Monday. Um, and in the meantime, um, know that I have a few live classes scheduled. Some of them are filled up. Some of them still have vacancy. And I would love to see you in person one day. Um, EatYogaDrink.com is where you can find those. You can also find all the, the merch, the Namaste and Cheers tank tops and Namaste Six Feet Away tank tops and other things. So I appreciate your support. I appreciate your presence and I look forward to seeing you again. So if you have